We set, ready, gates go back and they are off and racing. There's quite a few that want the speed over here. Right up there is Shavin Sira, who shows a bit of dash. Around runner's heart sees, is looking for a better position. Daughter of Zeus has been dropped in and now fights with the rider. So Daughter of Zeus not happy being dropped in. Needs the speed to be a bit more genuine. And around them is Dame of Flames. Then comes Chronicles of Narnia. Phoenix has been caught in no man's land. Carbonado is behind that. Then comes Chloris. To the back is definitely maybe racing towards the back end is eternity ring who must have a good eight or nine lanes to make up and willow lane's gonna have to get past them all so the speed's very good now up in front is dame of flames gone four lanes clear shaven sarah's in second then comes heart sees in third chronicles of narnia's in a good position in fourth then comes daughter of zeus further back to carbonado phoenix behind that one chloris is about six or seven lengths off them definitely maybe and willow lanes towards the back end of the field they got 500 meters left to run and still in front is dame of flames but chronicles of narnia is going really well for munger in second to the outside is daughter of zeus then comes eternity ring still four or five lengths off them but now in front is chronicles of narnia to the outside is Daughter of Zeus, is still five lengths off the leader. In front is Chronicles of Narnia. On the inside is Dame of Flames running a cracker, and Carbonado is taking off with Daughter of Zeus to the outside. Daughter of Zeus is now finishing with a wet sail. Chronicles of Narnia, Daughter of Zeus. Daughter of Zeus going to win a great race. Definitely maybe might have got up for second. Chronicles of Narnia in third, and Carbonado in fourth. They went off to lead them and set some good fractions. And yes, Daughter of Zeus down the center. Another masterful ride by Richard Faree. Well done to Mrs. J.H. Kinsley. Great to see Robert Bloomberg involved in partnership over here. Well done, Robert. And of course, to PRC Freestone, to D. Florence, Al Janssen and the Claverflay Stud Farm. To John Costa, well done. Bred by Claverflay Stud Farm. And she goes bang, bang in Klebecha. Well, welcome back to Fairview and the Alan Grief and Richard Ferry show continues this afternoon. Another winner for them, first leg of our local pick six. The man in charge, and he's getting the 1,500 rand, is Harris uh, from the Alan Grief stable. Very well done to you. Nice to see that you have a horse in the winner's box that looked so well. Well done to you, Harris. Thank you. All right, here we go. Thank you. Let's go to Richard Ferry, and that oh. is brought to you by World Sports Betting for all the work riders and the grooms and everybody involved. Awesome to have them. Now, here's a man that uh, is always very, very modest and humble, and he walked upstairs, and they didn't ask him, oh, top ride, and his answer was, yeah, that was a good ride. <laughs> it's not often that you hear Richard say that he always gives the credit to the horse and to the trainer, but I thought it was a top ride. Well done to you, Richard, and I'm sure the partners will be happy, including Robert Bloomberg. You're gonna put a smile on his face as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, thank you very much, uh, but I'll still stay humble. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, I, just, I just thought that, uh, the mile is going to be a bit on the on the far side for her. She's quite aggressive, um, but uh, you saw her going down to the start. She was a little bit relaxed, more than usual. Uh, jumped her out. I was looking for cover as much as I could, and you know she she's quite highly strong. She started travelling a little bit, but uh, you know I got very close to the heels of the horse in front of me, and then she cautioned herself, and you know she switched off for a bit came into the straight and all she wanted to do was run with me. That's why you see me take her away from the other horses. Then the ears came back up and you know she idled a little bit longer. And I think that what made her actually stay the trip for me. And knowing what she did to me, well, for me last time through the well, 200. Well, it's a total different setter completely. She went to the front, pinged the gates from a wide draw. Yeah, true, but uh, there's always a little secret that they give you when, when you ride them and you get to know them. And I felt something last time, and I okay. utilized it well yesterday. And she gave me a good kick at the right time, got her head in front, and the line came in time for us. So it was a lovely win. Well done to all the owners, um, to Mr. Kreef, to the team back at home, and obviously to my sponsors at, at Winning Form. Thank you. Top ride. Well done, Richard. Thank you very much. Yeah, this man can ride, make no mistake, internationally recognized as one of the best riders in the world. And I don't think that is um, a comment that I'm making that uh, won't be agreed to with me by, by Heat Nana said you were a brilliant trainer. Now we've got to give the jock some credit here, Mr. Griff. Oh, all the, all the credit goes to Richard. Very well done, Tim. Great ride. And, uh, you know, he just places them where he has to. 
Uh, yeah. He knows him from time before, and you know, I let him do his thing. That's his job. He gets paid to do it, and uh, he does a damn fine job on it. So very well done to Richard. Um, you know, we ran first and second in that race. Uh, that filly really ran a good race. Uh, definitely, maybe she looked like a winner till Richard loomed up and snagged him on the line. But uh, back to daughter of Zeus, you know, very well done to Clavis Flay Stud who bred her, to uh, Mr. Kingsley, Robert Bloomberg, Freestone, Mr. Florence Jansen, and then John Costa once again at uh, Clava Flay. And, uh, you know, as a host of owners here, she's now won two races in the Easter Cape and uh, building her resume for when she goes off to stud. And uh, to Robert Bloomberg, you know, we discussed the merits of a mile. I'll take uh, humble pass. So well done, Robert. He says. Was your phone going ping, ping, ping before you even got to the leading? Of course, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's our Robert. <laughs> anyway, but yeah. very well done to everybody concerned. All right. Tremendous. Well done, Alan. And yeah, nice to see Pat Freestone, also a part owner, a gentleman that's been part of racing for many, many years with Vaughan Marshall in the Western Cape. And number four daughter of Zeus actually did relocate from the Vaughan Marshall stable. So well done to everybody involved. Top ride, Richard Faree, and top trainer, Alan Grief.